What's going on everyone and welcome back to another tips and tricks video for the PlayStation 5 where today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I'm able to use almost any controller on the PlayStation 5 to play PS5 games. Now the way that this is possible is with a device called the Cronus Zen and I'll be honest with you guys this thing gets a really bad rap. I've talked about it on my channel before and it's basically known in the gaming community as a cheating device that people use for unfair controller modifications and cheats. Now the truth is that I do not not promote or condone cheating in video games, and this video is not intended to do that whatsoever. But if you are someone who wanted to play your PS5 games with something besides a PS5 controller, for example, a custom scuff or the Astro C40, well, the Cronus Zen will actually let you do that. And no, this is not cheating. We're simply just tricking the PS5 into thinking our PS4 controller is in fact a PS5 controller, even though it's not. So for educational purposes only, I'm going to show you guys exactly how this works. Now we've already updated the Cronus Zen with the latest firmware, and I've also made sure that the PS4 specialty mode is enabled on the Zen Studio settings. So step number one, we're going to connect our Cronus Zen to the PlayStation 5. And then we're going to connect our Astro C40 to the A3 port. And then we will need a licensed third-party specialty controller like the Ori PS4 mini pad to donate its license through the Chrono Zen for this to work. And the donor controller will be connected to the A1 port on the Chrono Zen. And that's it. It is literally that simple. And now, as you guys can see, I am in fact able to play PS5 games like Demon's Souls on the PlayStation 5 while using the Astro C40 controller for PlayStation 4. So now you know, the truth is that these so-called cheating devices like the Chrono Zen can actually have some legitimate uses for things other than, well, cheating. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and found it useful or at least interesting. And if you did, make sure to leave a like rating on the video, comment below to let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.